What's up you guys and we are back. Welcome to my channel again and in this video we're going to be talking about what I've learned from working out the past seven years. I did a quick survey last week asking you guys if you prefer me talking about business or you prefer me talking about fitness and a lot of you guys said that I should be talking about fitness stuff as well so I'm going to be sharing some things that I learned in my journey from the past seven years of working out. So let's get into this. Very first thing that I learned from working out for the past seven years is definitely it's not easy as you think. I remember the time when I started working out, I thought I would look at all these fitness models and these bodybuilders and I'm like, yeah, this looks pretty good. I could probably achieve that in the next year or so, but I was wrong. and. How many of you guys have that same mindset? I get a lot of people coming up to me and ask me, oh, you know, I could get your physique in six months if I actually worked out and ate right. It's like, no, dude, you couldn't. It takes years and years of hard work and discipline to get to a certain level. And I'm not even there. I still have a lot of things that I need to work on even now. So it's definitely harder than you think it is. So commitment is key when it comes to building that goal physique that you're looking for. The second thing that I learned from working out the past seven years is discipline. That is probably the biggest thing that I've learned so far in terms of training because Getting the physique that you want doesn't just require a good workout program or a good diet. Both are very important, but supplements come in another factor, as well as your mental discipline. That's probably the biggest thing that I think that I've learned the past years is making sure that I keep myself on track. You know, it's it's really easy to just kind of be working out and doing really good for a while and then you know you get that lazy day and you don't want to show up and that's where the true test is and I can remember many times where I didn't feel like working out or getting up to go to the gym and I'm sure all you guys have that as well it's normal it's a human thing but the ones that get to their goals are the ones that have the self-discipline to do what they need to do even when they don't feel like doing it. And that applies to anything in life. You know, it's not just with fitness. And having that goal to achieve that fitness body motivates you to achieve other goals in life as well. So yeah, it's key to be disciplined, guys. It's gonna be a long journey and anything that you start, you know, you can't just get this in the next six months or in a year, it takes time. You gotta pound every single day, you gotta eat right, you gotta work out, you gotta take the right supplement, you gotta have that mental discipline to get to the gym, and you gotta stay committed and consistent. The third thing that I learned is that your confidence definitely goes up a lot. That's something that I feel like has helped me a lot as a person as well. Naturally, when I was younger, I was more of a shy person, I didn't communicate too much with people and didn't really raise hands in classes as well because I, I was afraid of being judged or whatnot. And I'm sure this has to do with like my personal appearance as well, right? And I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this too. So getting to the gym and, and seeing transformation in my own body from here to here made me a different person. It, it, I got my chest up in a way and I, I would walk with confidence. I would talk with confidence. A lot of people would come up to me and compliment my physique and that made me feel good. And, and yeah, it was. it's just a good feeling to know that all the hard work that you're putting into yourself, into self-improvement, it, it's working, it's, it, it's being recognized and you feel good about yourself. The next thing that I learned on this journey is that you sort of become the guru in your group. Uh, it's funny to look at because I feel like your friends and family start to ask you a lot of questions and how to, how to get that good diet or how to lose fat or, or what should be their workout program. 
you know, they want to work out with you. They, they, they ask you all for all this advice and that's normal. You should take that as a compliment. You know, it, it may get a, a little annoying at times, but you should be proud that you're in the stage now where people look up to you when they want to get to where you are and they're asking you questions. The last thing that I'll share with you, even though there's so many more points that I can share in maybe future videos, but I'll keep it short for now. The last thing that I learned working out in this entire journey that I'm on is that you can turn this into a business, which is something that I never thought of when I picked up my weights back when I was 18. I'm 25 now. And uh, it's, it's good. It's a really good feeling to know that you've accomplished so much since then that you have a new skill that you've developed not only to transform yourself but now you can transform other people's lives as well it's such a big market these days and just to raise some points here i started competing i did some fitness modeling i started personal training years ago fitness coaching i created an online website where i did online coaching and and all that sources kind of came in just from picking up the weights and working on yourself. That's a really cool thing that I feel like this fitness journey has added into my life that not only could I improve my own self and other people, it also improved my financial side as well. I even created with a partner, a supplement company and a fitness brand called First Health earlier this year. So I feel like this journey has been really exciting and the fact that I'm able to do all these things, I'm very blessed and grateful for. If you want to check out our website, it's www.firsthealthofficial.com. You can find us on social media at First Health as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing more of my journey with you. I encourage you guys to share yours with us as well. I want to hear what kind of stuff have you gone through and you should come join the First Health team and we can all kind of grow together. Anyway, guys, I hope that was a good video. Just a few quick points I wanted to share with you guys. If you liked this video, it would be awesome if you smash the thumbs up button and click subscribe. Hope you guys have a great day and see you next time.